the positioning map. It's all about real estate. A positioning map has two axes, a vertical and a horizontal. One could be price, one could be value, one could be quality. Whatever you really like to position your company or your product comparing where your competitors are. The blank space between you and your competitors shows what we call an untargeted area for opportunity with that marketplace, for good and for bad. Opportunities in the unoccupied spaces for your product, I wonder whether they're real opportunities or perhaps no one's gone there before because they know something you haven't found out yet. So how to track your competitors' movements. You may have a preconceived idea of where your competitors are. You do a survey, you might be wrong. Once you've determined their positions, the next step is trying to track their movements, past and present. Most competitors have a pattern of behaviour. It might be on price, it might be on difference, it might be on geography, it might be on country. Past will indicate the present and the future. I look for what they've done. Most organisations, most of us, are creatures of habit. Determine their various strategies for marketing and where they may position. It's time to look for gaps in the market. When you've figured out where the competitors are, where they've been moving from and to, does a gap appear in that map, that positioning map? That may be an opportunity because their life cycle has finished or technology is impacted. Think about these gaps because gaps are opportunities. The key to understanding the how and why is where a customer buys, how they buy, and whether they repeat their buying. An example is fast food stores. You see them clustered in groups because people go to one, they go to another, but they're still going for fast food. Literally, we see fast foods, if another block opens up next to another one, another fast food will go in there as well. Why? Because we're creatures of habit. We go to places that we're familiar with and we buy the same product time and time again. Even though we deceive ourselves, it's a different burger. Sometimes there are gaps for a reason. Can you imagine paying a lot of money to live in a house that's right on a flood plain?